Springtime here in the Northeast offers a lot of opportunity. The rivers and streams offer some great fishing. The woods are prime for turkey hunting, hiking, and camping opportunities. And with the new life and rejuvenating vegetation that spring provides, foraging can be another fun way to enjoy some time outdoors and make a good use of nature's bounty. So today we're actually going to do a video a little bit differently than we normally do. We are up at our camp and this morning we're out fishing. We're going to keep a couple of trout. I got a creel right here. Dan, Seth and I are out on the water. Uh, this afternoon after we're done fishing, we are going to be going into the woods. It is early May. We're going to be looking for some ramps, maybe some morels if we're lucky, and we're going to do a little bit of foraging. So. After that, we're gonna kinda of cook everything up, have a real nice meal, and it uh, should be a really awesome day, so stick around. Seth is on the board. Only a few minutes in. Not even a few minutes, literally, probably second cast. Got his New Zealand indicator on there. Throwing some nymphs. So hopefully that's a good sign for this morning. I just hooked into my first one here. Actually a half decent rainbow. Probably end up keeping this guy. But we're being pretty selective. We're gonna pan fry him, so we want something that's gonna fit in the pan. Uh, and if it's too big, we don't want it. And like, we're only keeping three. There's three of us, a fish, a fish for each person. Uh, that's really all we need. We'll throw everything else back because you know we fish here a ton, so we don't want to keep everything. So that's got one below me. It's a good fish. What do you think, keeper? I'd say so. It's a nice fish. All right, look at that guy. He's going into the creel here. And I think, uh, based on the size of him, he's probably the only one that we're gonna wanna keep. Uh, everything else, we'll, uh, we'll kinda, we'll probably just throw everything else back. Enjoy fishing. It's been a really good morning so far. Seth, Seth's caught a bunch. He's let them all go. Uh, he's got one on there. Right he's got one right now. I caught a rock. Oh, man. The, uh, the rock fish. All right, let's keep at it. It's been a good morning so far. Got another one here. Just tight lining this same stretch. Came on a lot of legs, hairs here. We 
we are still uh, Doug and Seth are fishing with an indicator. I'm just up in this ripple a little bit further and I'm just doing some tight lining. Yeah, so we are all, we all got a few fish now, and that was a nice rainbow. Um, so something that we are trying to do a little bit more in our videos, pause for the geese. All right, so something that we're trying to do a little bit more in our videos is just give a little bit of a gear breakdown. Uh, so right now I'm fishing with an 11 foot three weight as opposed to my normal 10 foot three weight. Uh, and this is from Risen Fly. Uh, it's their Nymph, Nymph Series Rod, 11 foot three weight. Really nice, a little bit more of a butt section uh, than my other three weight. Uh, and it's casting really well, and I have about a 15 foot liter uh, Maxima Chameleon 20 pound butt section transition to a 15 pound uh, section. And then I have a Cortland Cider on there. And then I'm running 6x, about 6 feet of 6x off of that. Uh, and then, yeah, I have that Lively Legs Hairs Ear on there. And then I have a little Ray Charles Nymph as well. So that's what we're fishing with. <clears throat> so Dan's got a fish right there. And I have my rod between my legs. And this is what happened. I hooked into one. Just came up and took my fly. All right, we got ourselves a little bit of a double here. The old Pennsylvania double. Mine was on that lobby legs hairs here again. Looks like Doug had one on that sucker spawn. So. Nice fish. Awesome. Right. Right. Back at it. Alrighty, so the sun has kind of come out in full here. It's pretty warm. Uh, the fishing has really turned off. But we had an awesome morning, caught a lot of fish. I uh, kept two. Picked a couple and, of them on uh, dries. Yeah, like Seth said, even, even picked up a few on dries. Some Quill Gordons coming off. Maybe a March Brown or two. That might be starting up here. But uh, we're going to sit around, see if any fish work, and, and maybe get out and fish some dries a little bit more. But... It's just nice to sit on the bank and relax a little bit, and uh, we'll probably head back to camp here shortly. I'm gonna take a little detour on the way back to the car. We're doing some morel hunting right now. See if we can find anything, because that's uh, kind of a delicacy this time of year, and one of the really awesome things uh, to forage for during the month of May, and I mean, if we find some, that would be fantastic. So something that really is just an awesome part of any spring meal for us, something that we really enjoy, is wild ramps. And for those people who don't know what ramps are, some people call them leeks. Uh, basically, it's just an onion, and right now, I. Uh, not too far from camp. We're kind of in a patch of them right here. And without even starting digging, you can kind of smell it. But it's something that goes extremely well uh, with trout especially. You can saute it in the pan. That's what we're gonna kind of do later. Uh, you can have them in a salad. You can grill them, pickle them. There's so many awesome ways to enjoy them. So we're gonna start digging here and uh, take a few back to camp. To identify them, you look at, it's kind of an oblong leaf. Uh, get a trowel from back at camp or at your house or whatever and try and get as much of that root as you can. And this right here is what we're looking for. So as far as the flavor of these things go, uh, generally, we like to cook them. A lot of people do like to eat them uh, as part of like a salad or something like that, but uh, they're much more bold than a standard onion. So they're a lot more uh, spicy, flavorful, uh, 
So a great way to prepare them is to either saute them or grill them or something like that. I think it just makes a great addition to really any, any dish because it helps to bring out that onion flavor in what you're cooking. I think we have a nice amount right here and that's gonna be a perfect addition to what we're making a little bit later. But now we gotta kind of wash them off in the stream, uh, take them back to camp, chop them up, and they're gonna be fantastic a little later on. All right, so after you're, uh, you're done kind of picking them up, there's always a lot of mud on them. They like to grow in some damp places. So best thing to do, just take them to a, to a stream or a little runoff like we're in right now, uh, kind of close to the vehicle here. Give them a real good rinse. You're not gonna get them perfect, but at least it's a good start uh, before you're able to really clean them off in like your sink or maybe a little bit of a cleaner stream or spring or something like that. Before we, uh, we leave here, we just picked those, those ramps. It's getting a lot warmer out. Uh, there's a really nice stream running through here. You can see in the background and a fantastic hole right above. And I, I'm seeing fish jump in action. <laughs> so I got a dry fly on uh, from this morning, Quill Gordon. And uh, we'll see if we can pick a few up. Look at this fish. So we are ready to start cooking. We have our forage from today. We have our rainbow trout, our ramps, we have some carrots, have a little bit of garlic, some orange, uh, and then some ramp greens. So what we're gonna do first, we're just gonna open up this fish. We're gonna throw some stuff in the fish. So first, we're gonna throw some salt on there, season it pretty liberally. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some oranges in there. And then we are gonna take some of that garlic, some minced up garlic. We're gonna throw some garlic in there. 
Once we have everything in there in our rainbow trout, you're gonna fold it up as good as you can. We are ready to pretty much start cooking that. We are just gonna add a little bit of oil on the outside just to help so it doesn't stick as much. And what we're gonna do is just season up this one side and with oil and with salt, adding more salt to the outside. All right, so we are pretty much ready to start cooking. So once you have oil in your pan, we're gonna take that trout that we just stuffed up with all that good stuff in there, face down into the pan. So we're just gonna throw some foil over that fish. We're gonna let it cook. I'm gonna say we're gonna give it about five minutes on that side, and then we're just gonna pick it up as good as we can with a spatula, flip it over, and we're gonna hit the other side. And to, to finish it, we're gonna throw a little bit of butter on the inside, let that get nice and melted, and then we're gonna do our vegetables. We've probably gone, we probably went a little bit over five minutes a side. I'd say we did about six or seven a side, just because, you know, that's another thing. When you're cooking outside, the temperature, you're not gonna be able to control the temperature like you would inside. Um, so let's take a look at this. Oh man, that smells good. First thing I'm getting is just that orange. That's a good move. And hey, if you, if you don't, orange is all we had on hand, but you could always just do, you know, lemon. And that skin, oh my gosh. I wish the audio could pick that up, but it is like crispy. And you can eat that skin. That skin's got like a lot of good fat in it. All that omega-3 fatty acid. Holy cow, does this look good. So here's what we're gonna do actually real quick. We're just gonna take a little bit of butter. Just gonna finish it off with some butter. Cause you know, why not? Let's get that butter in there all mixed around. Oh, you can smell the garlic too. Whoo, that smells good. That is gorgeous. I'm just kind of holding the pan. Hey, if you have a basting spoon too, we do not have a spoon, but you could just, you know, baste it. But yeah, you can see I'm just kind of tilting it to get all that oil and garlic in there and the butter. One last blast of flavor. All right, let's plate this up. Let's get a little bit more of that butter on there. All right, so second phase of the operation, here we go. We're gonna do these ramp bulbs, we're gonna do those carrots that we talked about earlier, as well as diced up ramp greens. I'm gonna throw some garlic in there first, then in with the ramps, and in with the carrots. Okay, generous pinch of salt. All right, let's get that going. Let's cover this up, get it to cook a little bit faster. Let's take a look. We're gonna throw a little bit of butter in there first. Just a little bit of butter. Because again, why not? You don't have to add butter if you don't want, but and those ramps are looking good. Nice and soft. That is the spring forage. And man, does it smell good. Awesome, let's give it a try. All right, so first let's just try a bite of this ramp, so. Wow. So the thing is, if you've never had ramps before, it's an onion pretty much, it's a wild onion that just has a really good bite to it. I picked carrots to go with it. 
Just for something a little bit sweeter of a vegetable. Man, is that good. You just can't beat that. So this fish, the main course, cooked perfectly. We nailed it. Oh my gosh. That is so good. The orange, I was a little upset that we didn't have lemon, but that orange goes so well with the garlic and the butter. Oh, that is so freaking good. Let's get a little bit of skin in there. Again, I'm throwing a ramp on there. You got to get the perfect bite. So good. And yeah, you know what we were saying? It's awesome that with foraging, with hunting and fishing, you have a sustainable meal for the rest of your life, really. You know, as long as that, man that resource is managed well and responsibly, we have this forever. And it's awesome. It comes and goes with the seasons. Nature dictates what's going to be on the menu. And it just so happened that we had ramps and we had trout for this menu. So thanks for watching this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. We want to do more forage videos like this as the seasons progress. So if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Drop us a comment below, and we'll keep them coming. We'll see you guys.